Oh, wow. I just noticed this. There's like an extra eight bars at the end of the verse. How did I not notice that? I'm. You know what? I messed up on the uh, arrangement, but you know what I mean? It still got placed. It's still, still, <laughs> it's still released and it still did good views and he still made a really dope song to it. So before we get into this video, I do want you to drop a like on it real quick. I'll be posting three to four times a week, and I'm always putting producers on game. So if you like this content, you really, really mess with it, I heavily encourage you to subscribe as well. What's up? My name is Devin. I also go by Infinite or Proud by Infinite. Today, I'm going to be breaking down the placement that I got with Shooter Getting Coney. It's called Squeeze, and it was off its F12 project. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit late on this video, but I was just sitting here thinking, I'm like, oh, I should do a beat breakdown for that placement, because this is like my first big placement. So, right here, I actually have the project loaded up. As you can see, I used a loop from Holy. Shout out him. I believe he goes by Jordan What the F now. So, you know I mean, shout out to the bro for putting out really dope loops. So, this is what the loop sounds like. <laughs> So immediately right when I heard it, I definitely got like an old school West Coast vibe. And then since he put the symbols on the tss, 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 I was like, okay, I'm like for sure going to flip this into like some newer West Coast stuff because I always like mixing that old school stuff with a little bit of new school stuff. You know what I mean? And just kind of making a cool little fusion of the two. So let's get into the arrangement real quick. I have a eight bar intro. Then I have a eight bar hook and then 16 bar verse. And then it just kind of repeats after that. Oh, wait, did I? Wait, wait. Psych a lot. Oh, wow. I just noticed this. There's like an extra eight bars at the end of the verse. How did I not notice that? I'm. You know what? I messed up on the uh, arrangement, but... You know what I mean? It still got placed. It's still, still, <laughs> it's still released and it still did good views and he still made a really dope song to it. Um, so, I mean, hey, in music, there really is no major mistakes. You know what I mean? I, and I guess that's proof right there because technically I messed up with the arrangement. Like technically this right here should be the verse and then it should go into the hook again. Like right here, exactly right here, actually. Wow, that's crazy. I never noticed that. <laughs> so um <clears throat> so let's get into the eight bar intro as you can see the very first four bars just has like a very basic piano. Then my tag comes in at the halfway point. And then this part right here, it has another change up where it adds more sounds. And I did it like this mostly because a lot of people have a short attention span when it comes to music. So I want to have as many changes as possible in the intro while still making sure that the hook is going to hit. You know what I mean? So that's why I do for the first four bars something and then the next four bars something different. And then for the hook, you can keep it the same because it's supposed to be a little repetitive. And it's supposed to be catchy and everything like that. And then the last sounds for the intro are these two risers that I put together. Nothing too crazy. So next we have the hook so it plays out the full loop. Okay, and then what I did was just I put down the snare, layered it with a clap, with a little bit of reverb and delay and everything like that, and then I added like uh, a snare in between them, just to add like a little bit of bounce. I put this little vibra slap right here, shout out Bear on the beat, you feel me? Shout out Bear, you, know I mean? you, see, the, you see the TVE. <laughs> so it's just that little sound right there and then you got an open hat next and then we got a hi-hat pattern and I actually layered the hi-hat with two different ones one's this one 
and the other one is this one. So two completely different hi-hats. So I just layered them together to give like a new texture and basically create like a new hi-hat. Then I got this kick right here. Just hitting aggressively loud. Now I'm going to switch things up real quick with the arrangement just so I can show y'all like how I laid out the kicks. Because if you even look at the waveforms of the loop and you look at like where the kicks are, you can see they're actually kind of like matching up with the waveform low key. You know what I mean? So that's something that you want to pay attention to when you're doing kicks. You want to make sure that it's going with the loop. So watch. The loop goes, the kick follows it. Mm -hmm. And then as you can see, there's like little points like right here. Little points like right here. You like match it up with the kick. I could have done another one and I probably should have, but you know what I mean, it's not too big of a difference. You know what I mean, it's nothing too crazy. As you can see, there's like a little... There's like a little extra hit right here and a hit right here. So I got two kicks right there. There's another one right there. Put a kick right there. You see, y'all you, get the point. You feel me? And then next I have this impact hit. I like putting these on uh, wherever the hook is just because it makes the, the initial drop just hit way harder, to be honest. So we can listen to the drop with, that, with it and without it. I mean, it just makes everything hit kind of harder. You know what I mean? Dang, I just messed up my whole arrangement. It's good. It's fine. I'm not going to save it. <laughs> so next, at the end of the hook, I go into the verse. And I use that riser to transition everything. And then it goes back to kind of like that basic piano. And I like doing that just because I feel like it gives like a good reset and it opens an opportunity for like the artist to shine when they're like rapping, rapping, you feel me? And then after that, it's kind of just like basic arrangement, man. We kind of already went over all the sounds. It's just kind of like just random stuff that I just put in and took out. I just tried to make sure I changed things up like every four to eight bars. And like, you're good, to be honest. Okay, so with that being said, my name is Devin. I'll go by Infinite or Prod by Infinite and peace out.